Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for July 17th through July 23rd. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading and my, if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, kind, loving, sweet, secretive Scorpios. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Scorpios? Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Scorpios? Let's see, Scorps, what you got going on. Prince of Pentacles. The Fool card. Four of Swords. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. <laughs> you were faithful to this person. I mean, you were faithful to them. You you know, you stood in there with them. You did everything. You stood in there with someone that took your faithfulness and didn't understand what they had. Because here's this, this Prince of Pentacles or uh, Prince of Pentacles, um, depending on what deck I'm using. But it means the same thing. This means someone that's loyal, that's faithful. You wanted to be faithful to them. See this girl? She is handling them. She, she, you were faithful to someone. And I'm going to tell you what happened because here they are. Here, here, next to being faithful to them, you being faithful to them, they asked you for a new beginning. In other words, they want to take a, a, a time out. You know, what they call them, break, a break. Because in the middle of the reading is the Four of Swords. They wanted to take a break. They wanted to see other people. You were very hurt. They wanted to see other people. That Four of Swords is right there in the middle, as you know. But they wanted to take a break. You know how you do those break things. They wanted to take a break. They wanted a new beginning. They wanted to start over. They wanted to take a break. They wanted to see other people. So what are you supposed to do? But hey, let them see other people. Um, but here's the deal. The thing is, is that this person um, says that um, when I see this Knight of Wands here, this is someone that's an on and off again love. This is someone that's, that's very uh, wishy-washy, fickle with their love. Because, you know, they like to love other people too. They, they're not going to be tied down to just a, one person. That's what they tell everybody. I'm, I don't want to be tied down to one person. I want to be able to date as many as I want to. They're very passionate, though, when you are together. They're very passionate. They're very much all about you. They make you feel like you're the only woman. Whenever you're out with them, they're very focused in on that. But here's the deal. It's a break. They wanted a break, remember? <laughs> but here they are coming back with this Knight of Cups. And you know what? I can't stand people that beg. I'm sorry, that's just one of my, don't beg, because you know what, you should never have to beg, because I'm not going to beg you, that's what I always say, but with this Knight of Cups, here, here's someone coming back and trying to win you over again, I'm not quite sure you're ready to put up with the with the nonsense though anymore, but they're on, they got their bag on, and you know what, they're smooth, they're very charming, this is someone very charming, whomever broke up with you, whomever said they needed a break, um, whoever took this time out from, from you, after you were being faithful and loyal to them. You know, you should never let people get used to being without you. And I think they let you get used to being without without them. And I think that's I think that's good for you. Because that means you don't need them. And I'm not quite sure you're gonna take them back. Here's that Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is begging. Knight of when I say begging, this is when I that's a little harsh, but they're asking you, can we get back together possibly? Or or are you willing to um have start over again and have another type of relationship with me. They're also letting you know that they can bring you everything that you need and everything that you want. That's where they're good at because see, this person knows you. So what they're trying to tell you is that 
You know, I know everything that you need. No one else knows that. I know how to love on you. See this cup they have here? That's the cup of everything that they can give you. That's what they're telling you. Compassion, kindness, sweetness, love. Whatever you need, I got it for you. And, I, you know, and, and I'll be faithful. I'll be loyal. I mean, they're telling you exactly what you want to hear. But I'm not quite sure. I think you hear them. But I'm not quite sure you're listening to them. So we're going to see. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what the spirit guides are going to tell me. I'm going to clarify this reading just to see what the spirit guides are going to tell me about this relationship. Or this relationship that wanted this person that wanted a break. So let's see why is this uh, Princess of Pentacles here. Show me spirit guides. Why is this Prince of Pentacles here? This Princess of Pentacles. Why is the Pentacles card here? Show me spirit guides. Just sit back, relax, give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify. Let's see. Why is this Princess of Pentacles here? Show me. Ah. Uh, huh. Here's the real reason. Straight. The high priestess is here. My high priestess is that other woman. I don't care. The high priestess is the other woman. That's why they wanted to break. They're full of... Mm, yeah. The high priestess is the other woman. You were faithful. But they had another person all the time. You were faithful. This other woman is here. That's why they wanted this break. That's why they wanted this break. Grass is not always greener on the other side. That's why they wanted this break. It was another woman. This high priestess, the other woman. So let's see why the fool card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the fool card here for my Scorpios? Show me why the fool card is here. Ooh, your cards are ready to talk. Why is this fool card here for my Scorpio? Show me spirit guides. Oh, five of swords. There was conflict. Yeah, of course there was conflict. You loved them. You were faithful to them. You questioned them. Why? I mean, there were fights going on and arguments when this when they asked you for this break, this new beginning. This uh, you And you knew you had to have because the full card means a new beginning, but this was you having a new beginning. But here's the five of swords here. The five of swords is um, there was conflict here. That's you. you there was arguments, conflict. Um, you knew something just wasn't right. You knew something wasn't right. So there were arguments. And let's see why the Four of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Four of Swords here? And what wasn't right is that other woman. So so let's see why, you know, let's see why the Four of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the Sun card. Sun card is the best card in the deck. But here's the deal with the Sun card. The Sun card illuminates. It shows you the pros and the cons. So this break here, you knew something wasn't right, and the sun card illuminated for you. Not that the sun card, like I said, is a very good card. It's, it is the happy card. Um, you and this person had good times, and I was saying that you felt like teenagers when you were together. You loved on each other. It was rainbows and unicorns, but the sun card illuminates, and what the sun card illuminates, if it's, if it's a break, it's going to be for your better. It's going to be for your good. It's always going to be your good. If you stay together, it's going to be for your good as well. But it illuminated what was going on with this relationship. That's what the sun card did. So let's see why is this knight of wands here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the knight of wands here? Ha! Huh, I have a three of cups. Yeah, okay. This uh, knight of wands person was out there kicking it, partying, doing what they do, dipping it and doing it and having a good time, being with other women, enjoying life. But also there was one particular woman too. But they, but see, this other woman, she lets him do whatever he wants to do. You, I mean, you know, because she knows she's the other woman. She knows he's going to always come back to her, but she doesn't mind him playing. She plays as well. She does her thing as well. But so let's see why this Knight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, I have a four of cups. You're not listening to them. I told you not. You're not listening. You're not listening. This three of cups. This four of cups means um, I, you you know you just totally you just hear you you hear them, but you're not listening because the four of cups is pulling back, pulling back. They, you pull back from them. You're no longer listening to what they have to say, how they have to say, it, what they need to say because what they say normally is lies, and you're not listening to the lies anymore. But whatever they say they can do for you, you're just like wah wah wah. That's what you hear. Uh, you don't want to hear it anymore. You're not giving them any more of your love. I think you've pulled back on this person. Let's start here with the Prince of Pentacles. The Princess of Pentacles for this deck. You've been loyal and faithful to someone that wanted a break. Wanted a break. You have to do a new beginning. There's fights here. 
there's this other woman here. Um, when I say the other woman, I think it's other women. I don't just think it's one. I just think other women. And the reason I say that because they're a knight of wands person. But here's this four of swords. They want to break. They want to break. And here's that sun card there. And that sun card is illuminates. The sun it, it illuminates. It's also one of the best cards in the deck. But um, because when you're with this person, you were in love with this person. It was sunshine. And I would say rainbows, unicorns, all was good until they wanted this break. I need a break. Okay. That's what you said. Okay. Okay. You went on uh, with your life. And, you know, they were dipping it and doing it. And they're the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, you know, they have a lot of women. I don't think this is just one woman. Look at this Three of Cups over there. They're partying, kicking it, having a good time. You know, they're, they're smooth, though. Knight of Wands is smooth now. But they, they're not. They're on and off again. They're fickle with their love. But guess what? They've learned a hard lesson this time. Because Scorpios, I see them with this Knight of Cups coming back trying to uh, get their bag on. The thank you with this cup of love they have here. This cup here has everything in it. Has compassion, kindness, sweetness, love, whatever you need. They're, they're getting their bag on trying to come back to you. Trying to be back with you. But I don't see you doing it because I see that Four of Cups there. And that Four of Cups is about selfishness. It's about holding back. And I'm, it's just about you taking care of you. Not giving all your love to them. Matter of fact, I don't think you're going to give them any more love. Not like that. I think it's pretty much a done deal. They're there, though. They're definitely there trying to get you. Trying to get you. You have to be careful with them, too, because they're very charming. They are very charming. That is what got you with them in the first place. They're very charming. They also, whenever you're with them, you feel like you're the only woman. You feel like the most beautiful woman. You do. They have that that uh, energy. They know how to do that. They're very, very charming. And you feel like you're the most beautiful woman when you're with them. However, a Scorpio's not going to put up with the on and off. They really aren't. So, let's see. Show me, spirit guides. Show me, oracles. Show me, what do you want to tell my Scorpios about this relationship? Oh. Let go. I told you. I didn't see the cards to, for the cards for me. I just simply did not see you going back to this person. Um, what's the what's the saying? Fool me once, shame on me. Shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I don't see you giving them a second chance. I think you're done. I think they they you know they thought the grass was greener on the other side in this break, and I think during this break you also found out exactly what they were doing as well. Well, anyway, you it says the, the oracles say let go, and I think you're gonna let go, but I think you're gonna be just. I know you're gonna be just fine. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Scorpio.